Well, welcome, fellow compatriots of the New Jerusalem and all warriors out there. And hopefully not too many trolls, but we're used to them. Uh, I am Michael Basham, host of Spirit Wars and the Spirit Force podcast, Fringe Radio Network, and very honored to have my dear friend, Lauren Pritchard, who has been a little bit on the low and low recently. And uh, would you like to introduce yourself and, and catch us up uh, how everything's going, please? Gosh, introduce myself now. I don't know. I, I mean, like interdimensional. It's like introducing, you know, a female version of Doctor Strange or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I consider, I don't know. I guess like I consider myself a deactivated super soldier. Um, you know, I did like real, real life operations and not, it's, I don't have the like fantastical dreams like a lot of the super soldiers for Christ have. I did a lot of, um, you know, real world operations, which a lot of the operations that I did, like largely I didn't even know the extent to which it was taken. I found out later um, just how far, you know, it, it was it was carried out. You know, when you when you do a little bit for God, there are people, there are there are like militaries in place that will, even if it's like it, government, I mean, positive aspects of the government, like they will help you out. And, um, you know, through God, you know, through God's people, like there are things and people in place that will assist you when you walk in full faith with God and choose to serve his will and his will only. And, you know, it's pretty profound. That was, is proven time and time again in my life. So, um, yeah, just, I had a YouTube channel for a while. It's just hidden right now. A lot of you probably know me from um, my YouTube channel. And um, I hit it to, I, I don't know, almost like close a chapter and open a new one. I um, am in a, a new relationship, a really good one. And, you know, we're just do, focusing on like the things that matter there's so much distraction in the world and there's so many places everywhere you turn, they're trying to steal your attention away or, you know, steal the, steer the conversation in a certain direction. But at the end of the day, all that really matters is God and love and finding self-sustainability and like really noticing when your consciousness is being like steered in another direction, or if there's, something trying to put a wedge in between the things that you know god would have us cultivate so that's just what i'm doing now i can't really define what i'm doing now because it's like every day i feel like anything can happen so yeah that's basically it well it's like yeah. the faith life and i mean i can tell people right yeah. now that lauren is one of these brave fearless warriors to go out there and just preach on the street in austin texas where it's like I watched that video and there's like homeless people walking around and like trying to grab the mic and you're just like <laughs> beaming and just sharing the gospel and, and, and you've picked a lot of big fights too. I mean, you fought for uh, children against the pedo kind of child trafficking mm. garbage that existed there. And I know that you've even had like the uh, different like beer companies, like all frazzled and, and, and then the tr online trolls, I mean, it goes on and on. And you kind of, what's the word that you, call, that you shared about like a, a kind of a, a spiritual clown or something like, you know, you kind of like a sacred clown, a sacred clown. There's another word for it though. It's like almost like a, a, oh, a hey an Indian that. word. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh, thank you, sir. Um, and I do that too. Like sometimes you just say the craziest thing just to troll people. And then they're like, oh my gosh, Basham is crazy. He believes in like, yes, alien starships and goofy things. And there's a character named Don Quixote that I believe uh, people like us kind of resonate with this, you know, you're on a mission, but it, it is to save the lady in distress. But actually she's like this stripper or like, I must fight this giant gargantuan <laughs> giant. And it's actually like a windmill, you know, that whole, I mean, I'm not talking about like, this is being crazy for the Lord, being a disciple. It says in the Bible that like the wind, you can't tell where or from whence uh, a spiritual uh, soldier like this is coming from. But I, I invite you to now just just 
whatever is like the inspiration on your heart, we've been talking about like the matrix and the metaverse, the video game. I'd like you to share some of your insights on that. Cause I think that's really one of the places that you, you shine. Yeah. And that is largely the focus right now in terms of spiritual warfare. I mean, it's like, it's like deactivated from like the other operations. And now it's like reactivated in like just the day-to-day stuff, you know, the, the Christian persecution, it's growing. I mean, people that are on the infantry line for Christ, warriors for Christ on the infantry line, like, like we know so well Christian persecution, but we're watching that pool grow. I I mean, the amount of persecute, it's growing because as people begin to escape the matrix, they start to encounter the persecution also. So I'm so thrilled to like pioneer like this journey. And I imagine that, you know, if, and when I ever start up a podcast again, it's going to be talking about this very thing that I'm going through right now that we're all going through or going to be going through very soon. You know, it's like the systematic, I call it abuse. Okay. Because like the world is like not a really good place. A lot of people don't know that, you know, they're just kind of waking up to that. Um, but I, I feel strongly sometimes that my, and it it has to be the case that some of us, like our souls came down from like somewhere else. And so this is like a lower reality to us. And, And, you know, there's some souls that like, you can tell they're super comfortable in this reality. And then you're like, they're gonna need a lot of help like ascending this reality. And so I think coming down from an ascended, um, perspective, which I'm not conscious of it, right? Like, but it's subconscious. You just know when you hear it, the world's not a nice place. Like, you know it, you already know it. It really resonates with you because, you know, perhaps there's a part of your soul that has already, um, already knows this or, and a lot of people are about to find out, but, um, yeah, I mean, there's these wonderful documents that my partner left us, um, And a lot of people know uh, James Casbolt, still consider him, you know, a working partner, like, you know, we all are, we are equally fighting this fight together, the body of Christ, the, you know, super soldiers, I I don't think he would identify as a Christian super soldier, I think there's more dualism in there. Um, But anyways, there's these documents, if you Google James Casbolt, Life and Times of Michael Prince, he left us these documents back in 2011 and I review them from time to time. And every time I look at them, I just reviewed them again last night. Every time I read them, I understand them more than ever because like we are living in this now. You know, he said like people are going to get very robotic and he said, but a majority of the population, they won't admit it to themselves that this is happening, even though it will be so obvious you know, people are taking orders from an AI instead of the other way around. And then, you know, they're carrying out very subtly and barely, very slowly cut, carrying out like more and more control. Like they're ticking up the amount of control and it's very subtle. And it's in the guise of like, this is good for you, or this is fair. This is what's fair. This is how we're going to do it. This is what's going to help this. this is, but it's really just the control knob being turned up and it's very subtle and it's very slow. Um, and people are taking orders from this AI, like they're operating on behalf of this AI, or they're, they're, you know, asserting this amount of control, but they're blaming something else. You know, we're going to charge you more money for having a cat because the guy who's going to live here after you, he's going to smell it. So we need to charge you money now because the next person is going to smell the cat. It's like, no, you're just greedy. You just want money and you just want to blame it on someone else. It just wants to blame something else, someone else, blah, blah, blah. And so, you know, it's like using this non-existent, it's, it's referred to as in the document, the AI system. And so, you know, we're going to be, incre- we're going to notice more and more of this as you know, we turn more into the spirit and subsequently people turn more into the body of the AI system. And uh, it, it's subtle and it's wild, but it's so fascinating. It's all coming true. No, and I, I don't mean to interrupt. It's all coming true now. It's all coming true. I, I was following James Casbolt stuff. I've actually met some super soldiers in real life in Taiwan. 
And um, I've interviewed some of them. I know you're aware of uh, like Max Spears and these guys that we've kind of, you know, one or two friends removed, Carrie Cassidy, uh, Truth Seek on the Truth on the French Radio Network has interviewed her. And it just gets so icky when you find out like, oh my gosh, this is like the satanic underground antichrist army on one hand, but on the other hand, to mention dualism, we're the kingdom of God trying to like rescue as many of these guys as possible. I'll get one saved. And then he'll like freak out on me and disappear and call me an antichrist. Cause he's like, I don't like your doctrine. Cause you yeah. know, you got churchy, you know, and um, I wanted to but, say, I did listen. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry to butt in, but you sent me like, I I'm all caught up on your show. It's like my, you know, that's what I do in the morning. You know, when I have a day off, I listen to that with my coffee and, and you sent me something to listen to. And, um, you know, while I haven't listened to the super soldiers in like the quote unquote mainstream for a while, I decided to take a listen again. And, you know, I'm constantly reminded that I think they're dark, like they don't, and, and, and you know, I pray for discernment here. And I don't want to like, obviously ruffle any feathers, but I just got to say it. Like, I think a lot of these people, you know, why were they, not that I would ever, um, what do you call it? Add, you know, salt to a wound. But I mean, if you look at the amount of abuse they endured, if you look at like, you know, channeling demons through them, like, are they perhaps the demon? And that's why they were channeling the demons. I mean, I apologize for putting this out there, but it's been so I've been so passionate about like speaking my truth on this. I think like most of the super soldiers are actually dark. Like, I think that they are like a smear campaign for the real super soldiers for Christ. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with them. I'm not saying I don't like them. I'm not saying I don't appreciate them. But I, I am saying, I think they're dark. I think they're it. I think they're the gray aliens. I think they're the demonic super soldiers. And like I said, it's not that I don't like them or, or whatever. It's just, and it's not that they ever claim to be light anyway. I mean, even James Caswell said like the super soldiers are really dark. But the, their super soldiers for Christ are really light. And, you know, perhaps we work together, but I, I felt the same way. I mean, I went on a super soldier show and it's like two days later, she got like a screen memory that like, I'm the devil, right? And told everybody that like, I'm the devil. And I'm like, we got to stop mixing with these people. I even had one of them, like I let her live with me for a few days, but it was like the entire time. It was just like nothing but like, like casting. I mean, language is sorcery. It was just like, constantly inverting my reality constant and it was like you know i i care about you but you're like an inversion wizard i can't you can't be here you're just totally serving this like fake god that's satan and and you know i don't know if i, I didn't say it like to judge her but i was like just really you know like i you can't be in you can't like let your home be defiled like that and so you know, I kind of had to like sternly, but like lovingly, like tell her she had to go elsewhere because it was just kind of a nonstop, like just a negative, like everything I said, she'd say the opposite, like thinking that she can really, but I'm like, there is this program out there that is so obviously mimicking the real thing. And it's amazing how incredibly close it is, but it's not, it's not it. They're not it in my experience. And I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> you know me. You've spoken a lot about um, kind of those squid witches and uh, the NPC kind of fakey artificial intelligence people that are basically like gray aliens. Maybe they were soul scalped. I don't know. A lot of those kind of uh, the language that like Sarah Adams uses sometimes, if you can stand listening to her for more than a few minutes, some of the things that she says is just like, oh, wow, that that's kind of borrowed from Christianity. But then you just said you're God. Okay. You have to be careful who you let in your circle. As far as um, I've learned this kind of the hard way with certain people that I've interviewed and that want to just kind of take over my whole show and destroy, you know, all my privacy, like letting the chickens in the house. I've got 18 chickens. And if you let them in your house, they will literally take over. Every, I mean, if, even the shed, like, or you just leave the door open. They're just marching in and they're like, oh yeah, man, we're going to take over this. Not to compare all these people to chickens, but uh, you got to keep them in the, in the, compartmentalized zones um we have a few minutes left to end this segment i don't if we can keep going 
as well. I just want to give you the last few minutes here for this segment. Um, as far as where do you think things are going next? Like what, what do you sense God is uh, doing in your life right now? Oh gosh. Um, where are things going next? I mean, some days you feel like the sky is about to fall like at any moment. And then, you know, the next day you find that God found more mercy for the world. And it, it's, it's a tough line. It's like, no, nah, it's not tough. I'm sorry. It's not tough, but it, is probably a lot of people's reality. We're like, yeah, we're trying to plan for the future, but we're also like, but the sky's going to fall maybe at like any moment. It's so, it's really just taking everything day by day. Like we're working towards an obvious goal to be self-sustainable, to just live through God's will only. And like, that's it. And um, who knows at one point, if at some point, like perhaps there's a sabotage moment and that's somehow, I, I, I don't know, you know, there's a lot of prophecy and, and dreams and things people put out. And I think they're true. I believe in tribulation. I believe in all that, like something popping off. Yeah, well, we'll get. Be, we're going to be doing a lot more shows on that. I appreciate you know you uh, putting up with me and my goofiness. I think the one, <laughs> the one time you played a clip from my show on yours, on your old channel, it was like the worst possible thing with like it the clown music and pedophiles, and I was oh! like, oh no. <laughs> but I didn't listen to it beforehand. Oh, oh my gosh, I felt so bad for you because you would like just had this devastating like traumatic move thing like the enemy just trying to kill you and you're just like i need encouragement and then it's like no 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 no, do not play that one do not play that one it was just like hey children yeah (laughs) sorry about that but um that's but that's why i really enjoy your show is because you keep us on our toes it's always like fun and fresh and entertaining and real i mean that's that's real like what you're saying was true even though you had said like, yeah, this is disturbing, but it's true. Like people appreciate that. Like I appreciate that. Thank you. Well, I appreciate it. And let's um, send in the clowns, you know, I mean, if, if we decide <laughs> to post this, uh, we'll see what it does to the internet. Well, that's it for this uh, segment. You can follow Lauren Pritchard via Instagram and um, I uh, will be putting out links if she desires to uh, share that stuff. And I think we still have your podcast up on Spotify. So this will be posted to um, Lauren Pritchard, Spiritual Advisor uh, via Spotify and iTunes. All right. God bless you all. 